Welcome to the Tool Hut channel. Today we have a pretty easy one for you. It's a 13 Chevrolet Equinox. The PCM was programmed at some point, uh, not by me, but somebody else, and the crankshaft variation would not do a relearn with the shop scanner. So we're going to do, do that. We're going to use the Top Don. We're going to use the Top Don Phoenix Smart. Stand by. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Okay, first things first. Any of the equipment that you see used in my videos is available on the website. If it's not there, send me an inquiry off the website, toolhutusa.com. That's T-O-O-L. H-U-T-U-S-A.com. My name is Sam. Alrighty, let's get this show on the road. We've got a 2013 Chevrolet Equinox. The shop has replaced the computer. Like I say, I was not involved in that part of the operation on this. The crankshaft variation relearn needs to be done. Their scanner wouldn't do it. I don't know what they're using. doesn't really matter. The point is, we're going to use the Top Dot and Phoenix Smart, and we're going to perform this function and see if there's another problem. All right, let's get her going. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ID the vehicle here. Like I say, we're using the Top Dot and Phoenix Smart. It does a VIN scan here, so we're going to let it do its thing. You can see at the bottom, we got a notification that Bluetooth is connected, and it IDs it as a 2013. GM Equinox. So we're going to go to local diagnostics or local diagnosis and it's going to load the vehicle information here. All right, so we have a whole thing. We can do a smart scan. I do not plan on doing a smart scan, so I'm just going to click on ECM and then I'm going to hit enter. The shop is obviously still working on this, so there's no real reason for me to get super involved. We're going to go to read fault code, DTC display, and I've got a whole bunch of codes. Uh, most of them are passed and failed, so we're going to just clear the DTCs. I'm going to tell it yes for sure. Do its thing, it says it's completed, and then it's going to scan it again for more code. So the only code we have left is our crankshaft variation learn. We're going to go to the crankshaft variation learn. It's going to tell us to turn off the air conditioning. Now, one of the things it does not tell you here, and I'm not real sure why, is that uh, when you go to do the crankshaft variation relearn, the brake pedal must be pushed. I'm not real sure why it doesn't tell you that, but it is a requirement for the brake pedal to be pushed. Otherwise, the engine will rev up completely. It says accelerate the engine to wide open throttle. It says it learned, and we're essentially done. So, there we go. Quick and easy, super simple. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.